Hi guys, here are tips and tricks in Google Docs for beginners and power users. As always, please subscribe, it will help me a lot. A quick way to make a new Google Doc is by typing docs.new on your browser. If your browser is logged into Gmail already, you will automatically create a new Google Doc that will be saved in your drive. This works with any browser, as long as you're logged in to Gmail. As soon as you type something on a document and rename it, it will automatically save in your drive. The next one is page break. A more efficient way of inserting a page break is by pressing command and enter on your keyboard. Put your cursor on the position where you want it and then hit command enter. Another good one is paste without formatting. If you are copying a document from another website and you want to add it to your document, instead of just pressing command V to paste it, press shift, then command, then the letter V on your keyboard and it will paste the text contents without including the website's formatting. Now if you want to quickly add links to your document, instead of right clicking the word then insert link, press command and the letter K on your keyboard and it will show you the hyperlink box. From here, you click apply. The next one is inserting a table of contents. You have two options here. You can do this one. The only difference between the two styles is the other one doesn't have the page number. You have to make sure that you use the heading styles. My introduction here is already set to heading one. And now if I want to make this part of the table of contents, we highlight it and then change the formatting to heading one. The only thing with table of contents is it doesn't update automatically. You have to click the table of contents, then hit refresh. If you don't want to insert a table of contents but want to see an outline of your document, press Ctrl Command A, then Ctrl Command H. The document outline will then appear on the left of your document. I use this function to show me an overview of my document. If you like to use your keyboard when navigating through your document, press Shift Option and the right arrow key to highlight a word. You can keep pressing these buttons and it will highlight word after word. Or if you want to highlight the whole sentence, press Shift Command and the right arrow key. Press Command Up to go to the top of the page. And if you want to go to the bottom of the page, press Command Down. Another useful one is command right goes to the end of the sentence and command left goes to the beginning of the sentence. A quick way to center a sentence is press command shift E. You don't need to highlight the whole sentence as long as the cursor is on the sentence that you want to center. If you want to insert an image in your Google Doc from another website, you can do this without opening another window or tab. From here, I can Google the image that I want to insert. I'm going to search this. And then pick my image. And then click insert. It's a quick and efficient way of inserting an image from another website. Similarly, if you insert a paragraph in your Google Doc and you don't understand a specific word, you can get the meaning of the word without getting out of your Google Doc. Press Command, Shift, and Y, and it will find the definition of the word that you highlighted or where the cursor is. By the way, if you learned a thing or two on this video so far, please hit like. Or if you have questions, put it in the comment below. If you want to quickly see the version history of this file, press Command, Option, Shift, and H. This will show you all the edits that occurred on your Google Doc. You can then restore the file version that you want. If you want to add a color on your document because you don't like the plain white background, go to File, Page Setup, then pick a color over here. Click OK when done. 
A lot of people knows Command F to find a word in your document. But if you want to use Find and Replace option, there are a few clicks before getting there. You have to click these three dots, and it will give you Find and Replace. A faster way to do this is by pressing Command Shift and H. If you want to add a comment on your document, you can press this button. Using a comment is good for communicating changes to your collaborators. If you have multiple collaborators, it's best to assign that comment to those collaborators. You can press plus. This will show you some of your contacts. You pick a name. And then tick this checkbox. You can then add the comment that you want. And then click assign. Your collaborators will get a notification that a comment has been assigned to them. If you have collaborators editing this document but want to see where in the document they are, click the user's icon and this will take you to the person's current cursor. If you have two documents that's pretty similar but you are not sure what the differences are between the two, you can use the compare document functions to evaluate them. To do that, click on Tools, and then Compare Document. It will then ask you for the other document that you want to compare. So I'll search it here, and then click Open. There's also an option to include comments within the two documents. And once you hit Compare, it will create a separate document which has the difference between the two documents. You're probably not going to use this function every day, but it's good for comparing contracts that are pretty similar, or maybe you downloaded a previous version of a document and want to compare them with the current one. If you look on your My Drive, you'll see the new document that it has created. With Google Docs, you can publish your document to the web publicly. As opposed to emailing your document every time you make a change, the receiver can reference the same link every time you update that document. Click File and Publish to the web. Here you have an option to create a link or simply embed it on a website. Once you hit Publish, you will create a link. You can then email that link or post it on Twitter or any social media. To test it, I'm going to launch this on incognito mode and then paste that link. As you can see, this document is now published on the web. If you decide not to publish this on the web anymore, all you have to do is go back to publish to the web and then click this arrow that's called publish content and settings and then press stop publishing. An alternative to publish to the web is creating an HTML file of your document. You can then drop that HTML document to your personal website. Click File, Download, and then Web Page. This will then create a zip file, and when you open it, You'll see the HTML file as well as images, if you had some, on that document. Instead of composing an email on Gmail, then attaching your document, you can compose your email and attach the document directly on Google Docs. You can do this by going to File, Email as Attachment, and from here, you can choose to send it as PDF, Word, HTML file, and all the other things. You can even paste the item itself into the email. In here, you can put the email address and then compose the body. Once done, hit send. If you want to send a PDF version of your document, but don't want to keep emailing a PDF every time you make a change, 
you can send a PDF link to others by modifying the Google Docs link. Here's what I mean. Click the share button, and then you can see this link. Copy that link. If you don't see this link, click get shareable link. And then I'm just going to paste the link on my document so you can see the difference. As you can see, the end of this link says edit question mark USB equals sharing. Change this to export question mark format equals PDF. Now if you send this link to someone, the other person will automatically get a PDF of that file. I'll show you what I mean by opening another browser and then pasting that link. On Safari, it automatically downloaded the PDF. And when you click that, it will open the PDF. If you created the document or template but want to ensure that your original document doesn't get modified, you can send a template link of your document. This way, if you modify your template, the template is always up to date without you resending the link. Similar to the previous tip, copy the shareable link. And then here, instead of using edit, type in copy. You can send this link to anyone. And once they click this link, they'll be prompted to make a copy of your document. To test this, I'm going to copy this link and then paste this to a new tab. And this is what they'll be prompted. Once you click make a copy, this will create a duplicate of your document. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit like if you learned something new from this video.